1985 is very much on trial and it won't be lost I'm sure on the two teams today and hopefully the crowd too but the eyes of Europe and indeed the world will be focused on this our most compelling fixture Manchester United's exhilarating start has been a joy to watch but today they're without their inspirational captain Brian Robson he pulled a hamstring while leading England to their win over Turkey Remy Moses takes his place and Ron Atkinson has settled for only one winger today in Jesper Olsen relegating Peter Barnes to substitute the Paul McGrath pushed up into midfield and Graham Hogg returning at the back it's a match of course that Liverpool even at this relatively early stage simply can't afford to lose surprisingly though they haven't won a league game outside of Liverpool yet this season their only away success was the derby match at Goodison Park Kenny Dalglish has left himself out today he got a slight knock in training John Walk replaces him and both Steve Nicholl and Alan Hansen are back after injury so many quality players on show today but the form of these two men could well prove the key to it all the Welsh strikers United's Mark Hughes and Liverpool's Ian Rush both have nine goals already this season although amazingly Rush has never managed one against United in ten matches between the clubs the man in charge today is Alan Saunders of Newcastle Oh, a thunderous atmosphere generated by this capacity crowd of 54,000 as Liverpool kick off in the white shirts and dark shorts. And what a confrontation this promises to be. United haven't yet conceded a goal at home in the league. And if Liverpool are to break their unbeaten run, well, they'll have to beat United for the first time since Ron Atkinson came to Old Trafford. Moses, a vital role for him today in place of Brian Robson. Duxbury. The off was from Hughes. And here's Moran, captaining United today with Robson out. And Hogg back in the side after five matches out through injury. Hanson with the clearance. He's Liverpool's captain. Here's Duxbury. Had a fine match last week against Queen's Park Rangers. Stapleton, the ball knocked in. And Olby was caught in possession and left his foot trailing there. As the Graf tried to uh, weave his way through. And Liverpool quickly pulling everybody back to defend this free kick. White side is there and Olsen. And Warren too. Whiteside might try one from here, he has, and he's curled up too high. And what a season Norman Whiteside has been having, and he's just been named the Young Player of the Month. Amazing to think he's only 20, he's played more than 160 first team games for United. Johnston Stapleton playing so well up front in harness with Hughes 14 goals between them already this season Alderson now for Olsen oh, happier down the left and he looked on the right last week against Queen's Park Rangers Stapleton Moses. What a competitive player he is. He knows he's got a fight for his place here, but he fought a bit too hard there. It's Beglin. Good forward run made here by Johnston. Rushes in the middle and walks there too. United struggling to get it away. That link shot was well off target. Both sides just feeling their way into this match. And Rush hoping to break his duck and score against United for the first time. Moses. Now then for Stapleton. 
Sweet layoff. McGrath. Plenty of movement ahead of him. Anglia then got back to cover. And here's the stylish Lawrence. Not too much style about the challenge, but it was a fair one. Besides the referee from Hughes. Mar back there covering. And Robillard just managed to get there before Paul McGrath. side just gave himself that little bit of room then now for Hughes Looking away there to Johnston Liverpool with just two players up front with plenty more supporting them from midfield although Mulby is clearly operating as an extra defender here he is now having a fine season for Liverpool He has been a revelation for Liverpool this season. They call him Rambo. Last season, he said the way I was playing, they should have called me Bimbo. Now here's McMahon. Ten minutes gone. The game played at a furious pace, but as yet no goals. Nickel with the head up. Johnston to McMahon. And that steal and aggression that Liverpool needed in midfield. McMahon. Good defensive play then though by Kevin Moore. Duxbury. Support here from Whiteside. Crashing off the ball then with McMahon. These two are going to have a right old battle in the heart of the midfield today, I'm sure. Two very competitive players. I'm sure they'll have a drink together afterwards, but for the moment, there's no love lost between them. Orbiston. There's Olsen. Intelligent play then by Mulby the best touch of the Liverpool player at the moment, Jan Mulvick. Lawrenson then with the free kick, in fact taken by Mulvick. And here's Begley. Again, Johnston made a good positive run up front. There's plenty of space for himself. Finding Whelan. Here's McMahon. Could be on for the shot. Well driven too. Well, Steve McMahon has scored four times already for Liverpool. It's only his ninth game for the club. And he's certainly settled in extremely well. Not able there to test Gary Bailey. England's number two goalkeeper. Bishop was always in the offing there. Nickel with Alberston. Lawrenson. Zolson. Now then to Hughes. Just too many white shirts around him there. Here's Mulby playing as one of the two markers at the back with Lawrence in the spare man. Mulby picking up Hughes most of the time. Here's Rush. Now then for McMahon. Here's Beglin. 
three white shirts waiting in the middle. Benglin can find them. Header was from Rush. That was the nearest thing to a chance yet in this game. And Ian Rush couldn't put it away. Hanson was in first. Now here's Olsen. Room for him, perhaps here. Stapleton with Hughes. Rather snatched at the chance. He had slightly more time then than he realised. Uh, Mark Hughes. And what opportunity there was was certainly squandered. Hog header. Here's Nickel for Liverpool. Now then to McMahon. Kicking out Whelan. And support from Beglen. But oh, Johnston in space. And no one had covered the run then of Johnston. Unfortunately for United, it ran straight through and Johnston couldn't apply the finishing touch. Bailey won't be too happy with the defensive covering in front of him. Certainly at this early stage, it's Liverpool who've looked the more likely side to score. What could be in a little bit of trouble? Managed to get himself out of it. Orbiston's pass, only though as far as McMahon. Now for Mulvey. Olsen, how can he escape McMahon? The two number 11s together. Hughes has arrived in the middle now, this is Stapleton. White side here. And was there a hand? Well, the United players felt the ball was handled there. As White side climbed for the cross. The referee saw nothing wrong. The protests were in vain. And Liverpool survive. And was there a hand there? Now Johnston, still Johnston, beaten away though by Bailey, and at last some excitement, Whiteside, so nearly put United in front, and the United players felt that there was a handball inside that penalty area, here's Beglin, the tempo suddenly rising with the flags up, Offside against Johnston. And there was certainly a chance for Greg Johnston at the other end. The shot well saved though by Gary Bailey, who was in the right place. Came off Lawrenson. Now, could United find something here? As we move into time added on for stoppages in this first half. Moses with the throw. Here's Olsen. He hasn't really had the impact that Ron Atkinson would have been hoping for. Now Whelan. Mulby. Good first time ball then to Rush. He's almost away from Hogg. Now McMahon. The pool ushering players forward. Nickel. Still Nicol, looking to get past Alverston. Now McMahon. Oh, Beglin! Oh, it was a clear chance. Certainly the best chance of the half so far. And I say so far, the half is almost over. And Jim Beglin there really will know that he should have scored. Completely left free. United disorganised at the back. And McMahon's cross finding Beglin. And how did he manage to steer that over? Well, at least it will provide a talking point at the end of the half. And it's been a disappointing first half, one has to say. Particularly when you bear in mind the standard of the players on view. A tight contest, certainly. And before that chance for Beglin, Norman Whiteside, almost uh, giving United the lead with a header that one or two of the United players felt was handled on its way wide. 
Johnson almost immediately at the other end, having perhaps Liverpool's best opportunity before Beglin's miss, right on the stroke of half-time. And at half-time, it's Manchester United nil, Liverpool nil. Manchester United then start the second half. Six straight home wins for them before today. Certainly they've found a lot of trouble breaking Liverpool down. Liverpool straight at the start of the second half on the break here with Rush. Walks in the middle and Johnston too. Must be a goal, yes! 18 seconds of the second half. Well, Liverpool threatened to score a goal right on the stroke of half time. 18 seconds into the second period Craig Johnson has given them the lead the sudden break down the left from Ian Rush and he picked out Johnston superbly and well he may smile so United have conceded a goal at home for the first time in the league this season I wonder if they can pull back from this. What a start for the second half. The graph goes through. And it will certainly raise the excitement level. Greg Johnston. There doesn't seem to be uh, too many scenes of jubilation on the Liverpool bench. They'll certainly be elated at the lead that Craig Johnston has given them. Moran Liverpool throw now here's Beglin Will Johnston here left with so much room and United could pay for this well saved by Bailey Rush back charging in. Johnson there was clean away. And United will be asking themselves some questions at the back. Olsen. This is Moran. Now then to Whiteside. Stapleton. Well, he hadn't seen Walk. Hughes. Skipping past one tackle, right side. Now then for Hughes. And came back to him off Stapleton. They were let off there for Liverpool. And how quickly now they spring into attack. Rush. For Johnston. Marvellous running by Craig Johnston. Rush arriving in the middle now. And Whelan is Beglin. Straight into the arms of Bailey, but... Meglin has so often today augmented the attack. Duxbury. Stapleton into the path of White Side. Orbiston away to his left here. Different complexion on it now. It's 
but it seemed Liverpool were taking charge. Moses with the cross. Milby away. McGrath, the goal scorer. Orbiston. A promising run by Whiteside. He wasn't happy about something there. Just because I'm not sure what he was complaining about. Walk. Moses to Alderston. The goal will have worked wonders for United's confidence. Unbeaten, remember, this season. Ten straight wins before Luton held them to a draw to prevent them equaling the record number of wins at the start of the season. And now they're on level terms here with Liverpool. Olsen, right side, and he was in far too strongly then on John Wall, he quite clearly caught it, and the Liverpool players have every right there to be angry, right side, left his leg in there without any doubt at all, and John Wall was clearly hurt by that challenge, right side's name will go in the book, I really can't argue with that decision at all. Well, Kevin McDonald is coming on for Liverpool. Remy Moses is uh, going off. And Barnes coming on for United. So Peter Barnes gets his chance here. Began his career across the city, of course, at Main Road for Manchester City. Walk is back on his feet and seems to be all right. But in fact, uh, he is coming off anyway, and Kevin McDonald is coming on. So there's the Liverpool substitution. And Kevin McDonald, who's not really made a mark for himself at Liverpool since his arrival from Leicester, but getting his opportunity today. White side with the clearance. And Ron Atkinson has reverted to the plan that he considered using today with the two wingers, Olsen and Barnes. And indeed the plan he's operated for most of the season. Barnes down the left and Olsen on the right. And of course there is Gordon Strachan to return in a couple of weeks' time. McDonald, here's Rush. Now then, the eager beaver, Craig Johnston. What a match he's had. Still Johnston. The tackle though by Hawk. Johnston with the corner. There's Lawrenson. Push there, clearly. I mark Lawrenson. Lawrenson doesn't often come forward for set pieces, but he did against Tottenham the other week and was rewarded with a goal. Duxbury to Olsen. United attacking Liverpool on both flanks. Away by Hansen been such a formidable defender today. That's pretty cues. This will have gone for the foul. Tackled by Wheeler. United taking the kick quickly. And here's also Now then for Duxbury. Clever chip. Towards Hughes. My word, that was close. And this man knows where the goal is. Prolific goal scorer. Too far away that lovely ball through. 
from uh, Olsen to Duxbury and then the header just wide from Mark Hughes under pressure to it must be said right side positive header way by Nickel Johnston Johnston and right side clashing now the right side has to be careful he's already been booked wasn't the aggressor on that occasion though it was Craig Johnston but Whiteside reacted angrily Moran with the free kick here's Whiteside now then for Alderston here's Barks already proving quite a favourite here at Old Trafford of disappointment among the supporters I spoke to that Barnes wasn't in the side now here's McDonald away from McGrath and here's Johnston McDonald has continued his run through the middle Johnston what a drive the magnificent effort then by Johnston it wasn't so long ago that I was wondering if he had a future at Anfield. He most certainly has now. And he's proving one of their outstanding players of the season. Tremendous effort then by Craig Johnston. Stapleton. Couldn't get away from Lawrence. And then not many strikers do. Stapleton. for the corner Barnes will take the corner White side is on the near post Robillard exemplary goalkeeping now Peglin he is Rush for this elusive first goal against United Wheeler with McDonald one two didn't pay off Peglin can start all over again Peglin to McMahon Just too long there for Steve Nicol. <laughs> Liverpool throw. throw then by Mulby Johnston oh, he kept going and he'll take the throw himself here's McMahon Johnston came towards Rush it was more who cleared now Hughes a lovely flick Olsen now can he take players on here Olsen white side, oh Mulby failed to steer it back and white side failed to beat Robillard just managed to hold on to it white side was suddenly in the clear then Mulby's attempted back pass was never going to reach Robillard white side was in there and he tried to chip the goalkeeper and he couldn't manage to do so Johnston As Liverpool having survived a precarious moment in their own area trying to create one now at the other end Hanson no foul with long legs striding forward here's McDonald trying to play him through rather half-heartedly 
Chris Stapleton. You see the legs to power away from Mulby. Liverpool throw. McMahon. Are we in for a thrilling climax? Oh, Rush is away here from Moran. And how well he got back there. And then Alberston was able to steer it uh, into the arms of Bailey. But Rush then was away from Moran. And he couldn't find the finish. Offside. Warren was beaten for pace then by Rush. They just managed to get back to the rescue. Here's Hogg. Stapleton's header. McMahon. Barnes, McGrath, Senek Hughes away, and that's United's chance, can Hughes finish it? The tackle was a fair one from Beglin, Hughes, Lawrence in, well that was an opportunity for Hughes, what a fine tackle by Beglin. Less than five minutes to go. McDonald. Too close to Bailey. Now here's Olsen. Always looking to take defenders on. And he and Hughes very nearly worked an opening there. McDonald. He still will be fresher than most, having come on as a substitute. But he's not playing with a lot of confidence, I to say. Holby. In for Rush. Hogg was shadowing him there. Beglin with the cross. Somehow Warren got it away. And now Barnes. As United tear at Liverpool's throats. All to no avail. Liverpool can start again. Alberston. Here's Whiteside. Barnes. A good ball that one said to Stapleton. Hughes. There's Nicole. Coolly back to Robila. Georges in a little play acting even at this stage of the game. You can't keep this man down. And if he lost control of it, I think Kenny Dalgley should have been too pleased. Stapleton and Barnes. As Barnes got clear. Robila push it wide he closed the angle down there was really no way for Barnes to pull it back from there and Robillard was perfectly positioned one minute to go what a finish Barnes with the corner looking for Whiteside on the near post off oh, with the bar I will have been Hughes What a let off there for Liverpool as the ball came back off the bar. And United so nearly found the winner there. A whole cluster of bodies in the area. There's an almighty scramble eventually cleared. What excitement. 
Rush. It's all over. Well, a predictable result from such a tight contest between two so evenly matched sides. A point that keeps Liverpool in touch. Greg Johnston with a goal just 18 seconds into the second half. And then United coming back with Paul McGrath scoring the equaliser. Liverpool really couldn't contemplate defeat today against the United side that's got now 13 games without defeat. And so they stay 10 points behind Manchester United, the leaders. The final score here at Old Trafford after a rousing second half. Manchester United won, Liverpool won.